All right, good afternoon everyone. Just about 430 on our Friday afternoon. Want to give you an update on the tropics and obviously a lot going on. This is our main concern here and I'll talk about that coming up, but let's start over here. This is the remnants of Emily. Only a 10% chance of developing is going to the north. You don't need to worry about it. This is Invest 92. It does have a 50% chance of developing, but this should go out to the north and the west and that little yellow you see in the background here. That's a 10% chance for a wave coming off of Africa. So things have been busy. None of those right now are our concern. Franklin, not our concern, but forecast to get stronger. That's Bermuda right there. Should get stronger, go just to the west, and I think they'll get a little bit of weather from it. But Cat 1, Cat 2 is possible for Franklin. And then now we've got an 80% chance that this is what is now called Invest 93. So we are actually going to start running models on it and that type of thing. There's an 80% chance that that develops somewhere in this area. Right, I think it's actually going to be developing right on the tip of the Yucatan here and developing as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. That's not the forecast track yet. That's just the area where it will develop. Let's start with Franklin. Get that out of the way. 50 mile per hour winds now going to 75 by Sunday morning, 110 cat two by Monday morning and then brushing Bermuda. I think the highest winds obviously around the center. Bermuda won't be near that, but they will have some weather. and There'll be some rain and some wind obviously coming through with that. Here is Invest 93. And we're finally starting to see some showers and storms fire up around the area. It was actually on the other side of Honduras and Nicaragua. But now you're starting to see all these storms fire up this afternoon. There's a lot of shear over here. You see how the tops of these clouds are going that direction? That should stay there for a while. But if you look a little bit closely, and I kind of turned the winds on here, there's a very broad area of low pressure developing here. We've got a little spin that's over here, kind of one that's back in here. But overall, this is developing a broad area of low pressure. This looks like on the models it wants to sit here for a while. This is the European model. This has had a good grasp on it so far, last three, four, five days. It actually takes that low and kind of drifts it over land. It will not develop if it's sitting over land. But that's what it's doing with it. This is tomorrow evening, Saturday evening, 7 o'clock. Now, Sunday afternoon, it starts to drift a little further to the north. Still lots of rain. Western Cuba We get hammered by the rainfall there. Winds will just be starting. It's not really developing yet. Now, Sunday night into Monday, this is Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock. It's just now starting to come off of the Yucatan into the Gulf of Mexico, and then things start changing. Monday afternoon into Monday night, it comes into the Gulf. During the day on Tuesday, it gets to here about 5 p.m. Now, this is the European model. This has sped up in time just a little bit. But look at that. There's Tampa. There's the coastline. There's the center there. For us, winds would start coming up a little bit as we go into Tuesday afternoon. Rain would be moving through. Right now, that looks like a tropical storm coming through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, clearing Wednesday afternoon. That's 5 p.m. You can see we still have some onshore winds, but the storm's up there across southeast Georgia. Now, the European model's been on this for a while. This is the GFS model, and it's just now starting to get it. It got a little bit last night, early this morning. And look what happened. This is Monday at 10 p.m. It's just coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So the weekend looks good for us. We're fine there. Monday, for the most part, looks good, too. Tuesday, the weather starts to go downhill. That's 6 p.m. Tuesday. This forecast track is further to the west. There's a trough picking it up. And the GFS thinks the trough is deeper and further to the west, so it tries to pull it due north and then to the northeast. But this latest run, the afternoon run of the GFS, has a stronger system as well. Still a tropical storm, but we'd have to watch it because rapid intensification can occur over these warm waters. And shear that's out of the Gulf now will be falling apart a little bit. It'll be weakening. So we still have to watch this, although most models right now are suggesting a tropical storm. We're not in that time period where we're looking at exactly what it's going to be. We're actually in the time period three to five days out thinking about where, where in the Gulf would this be. This is the winds for the, uh, the European. You can see this is Tuesday evening. Winds, especially along the coast, start picking up overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning, 8 o'clock Wednesday. Now the winds are turning on shore, and then during the day on Wednesday, things start to weaken. Uh, the GFS, remember, it's going further to the west. You can see it's going more near north. Look at this. Look how much further offshore, south of Pensacola, and then moving northward up towards you know, just east of Pensacola. This is going to change. Don't look at this as a forecast. This is one run of the model, and this will change. Saturday, Sunday, we're going to know a lot more. We're going to have recon out there tomorrow, at least outside of the storm. We're going to get the spaghetti plots going on this tonight and tomorrow. So a lot of this is going to change. But right now, all eyes are pointing towards the eastern Gulf and it looks like western Florida 
and the panhandle. That's the rain. We could certainly need the rain. I mean, we certainly do. You can see all the drought conditions that we have here. So all in all, we could end up with a, a you know, 40, 50 mile per hour tropical storm coming through with some really good rainfall. And in the end, we think, oh, thank you. We needed that, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, the main time that we are keeping an eye on this. So what you need to know, here's the deal. Tropical depression, possible late Sunday. And here's the deal. If Tuesday evening, we're going to see tropical storm force conditions. You go back two days, and that would mean a tropical storm watch is possible by Sunday evening. And when that happens, you would have a cone. We'd get a, at least a PTC if we didn't already have a tropical depression or a storm. Idalia, I-D-A-L-I-A, -I -I is the next name on the list. The impacts, we just don't know exactly yet, but we think the timing would be late Tuesday overnight into Wednesday morning, getting better on Wednesday afternoon. Currently looks like a tropical storm, but again, it's a little too soon to say exactly what it's going to be, and we're going to have to watch it closely as it moves across the Gulf of Mexico. Look, 10 Tampa Bay is all over this. Don't forget our app. If you can download our app, it's absolutely free. You're going to get a lot of pushes, a lot of video that you can go and get there and see our forecasts. Don't forget my stuff, Bobby Deskins Weather, Facebook and YouTube, Bobby D Weather on Instagram, and Bobby WTSP on Twitter. Follow us along. Natalie Ferrari's here in the Weather Center. We've got Mike, we've got Amanda, and we've got Tyler. We're going to keep you informed, prepared, and connected.